false typhoid diagnosis. According to studies, the rate of typhoid fever in sub-Saharan Africa is less than 1%. Yet, typhoid fever is being diagnosed on a daily basis and treated at an unprecedented rate in Nigeria. It often seems the diagnosis of malaria is not complete without an accompanying typhoid diagnosis. But how true is this? Typhoid fever is an acute illness caused by the bacteria known as Salmonella typhi. The bacteria are deposited in water or food by a human carrier or host through stool or urine and are then spread to other people in the area when ingested. This means that for someone to have contracted typhoid fever, that person must somehow have ingested stool or urine containing the bacteria. A patient with typhoid fever will develop symptoms such as high temperature, muscle pain, vomiting or diarrhea, poor appetite, headaches, fever and lethargy. These symptoms are also similar to those of other mosquito-borne illnesses like malaria, Lassa fever or yellow fever, and this often leads to the problem of incorrect typhoid diagnosis in most cases. The situation has gotten so bad that almost every patient, male, female, young and old, with febrile illness in Nigeria is treated for typhoid. Perhaps a major cause of this problem is the method used in diagnosing the typhoid. The serological tests, also known as Wydal agglutination or Wydal test, which is commonly relied on to make typhoid diagnosis, can be misleading. Although easy and cheap to administer, Wydal test is not reliable in the diagnosis of typhoid fever. Several studies have shown that Wydal test is non-specific, poorly standardized, confusing and difficult to interpret. This implies that the test does not provide accurate results for typhoid fever. Nevertheless, there is widespread misuse of the Wydal test as vast majority of people diagnose and treat presumed typhoid cases based on results from a single Wydal test. This has led to a large number of patients being misdiagnosed and treated for a disease they never had. What you need to know There are dangers inherent in continuing the practice of treating typhoid based on rather test results. These include antibiotics resistance, misdiagnosis and delayed diagnosis, false sense of security, missing malaria resistance and unnecessary costs of treatments. There is therefore a need for the following actions to be taken. Citizens need to desist from self-treatment of typhoid fever without proper assessment by qualified physicians. The standard tests for typhoid are blood culture, stool culture and urine culture. The World Health Organization WHO, has stated that the Wardell test should not be used as diagnostic tool for typhoid, adding that a blood culture remains the diagnostic method of choice. This guideline, along with the Nigerian Standard Treatment Guideline, as regards the treatment of typhoid, should be enforced in every treatment and diagnostic center in Nigeria, with clear diagnosis and treatment protocols given to health professionals at all levels. State governments need to provide the necessary equipment in each local government area so more hospitals and health centers are able to properly diagnose typhoid and other infectious diseases. If you have ever been diagnosed with typhoid on the basis of WADO tests alone, do contact us to share your story.